Hello and welcome to another Looney Tunes review video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to follow my journey to review all 1000 classic Looney Tunes shorts and give this video a like as well. So this is a review for Wise Quacks, released in 1939. It's the 252nd in the series and is directed by Bob Clampett. You can find this on the Looney Tunes Golden Collection Volume 5 DVD set and on the Porky 101 DVD set. I have upscaled it to HD to give it an approximate look of what it should look like in HD. In case you haven't seen this one, as it's under copyright, so I can't show you the full thing here on YouTube, but basically Daffy is going to be a father, but he's rather nervous, so he begins drinking a certain corn drink, get it, and his wife isn't happy about it. Later on, a vulture kidnaps one of Daffy's kids, and so Daffy must find the courage to save his kid. So what you're going to see first is a re-edit of the original audio commentary I did. Thanks to my good friend Blue Genocide for re-editing that for me. You'll hear a few new thoughts from me and then a sample from the Bob Campert retrospective. So grab some popcorn and enjoy. Yeah, this one's definitely one of the better Clampett ones because I felt like he was kind of meandering a little bit. Um, you know, it's not like they're unwatchable. There was definitely a lot of funny gags in them. But Now, you will notice on the two ducks that they got it's, it's got a slightly different design. There's, there's like a, I suppose you could say brown, or whatever. <laughs> I mean, it is black and white after all, um, uh, over the eyes, and we, which didn't really last long. And I asked around to see if anyone knew why. Like, did, did Bob ever mention why he did, did it change, or any artist that may have worked in the cartoon? But as far as we're aware, no. I even asked um, animation researcher Devin Baxter, and yeah, he, 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 he didn't know, and yeah. He's pretty, he's pretty darn knowledgeable, so that's a cute little duck, you know? Clampett, you know, may be known for a lot of, um, like, really, I guess, uh, I don't know if grotesque is the right word, but, like, ex I guess extreme drawings in his, um, in his shorts, particularly his later ones, once he takes over uh, Avery's unit, but he's also so good at doing the really cutesy stuff when it mattered, and, he, and it's just so, so good. But gee, this corn um, juice uh, must really be um, some potent stuff. It's <laughs> getting drunk so easily. But so as far as those big birds go, um, the one that's, that's uh, you know trying try to get this baby, um, I believe that a lot of that's reused at animation for Porky's poultry plant, which I double checked, and it seems to be the case. Uh, and I think even a walk cycle from chicken jitters too. So yeah. Um, you know, no, 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 no. by the way, I just love that <laughs> backwards flank. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna get this ending here. And you know, and uh, and we got how dry I am, and you know, pretty much you, you can expect any uh, drunken scene <laughs> with how dry I am. And there's even that smoking. <laughs> this is a cigarette on the bottom as well, which I didn't notice before, but. So those are my original thoughts, so take a look at this cartoon again, and one of the things I enjoy doing is looking at the old newspaper articles that are used in these shorts, and of course, there's no expectation that people are going to sit there in the theatre at the time and go, oh, what's in the newspaper clipping? You know, we've got the benefit here of pausing and actually looking at this stuff, and in here, I just like the one on the left how it says ham and eggs, and yet it just appears to be a random article about Finland's independence or something, which is truly really odd but anyway take a look at it when you can the other side is just some other generic article but the one on the left about finland yeah that fascinated me the most so yeah and that name jimmy piddler that appears to be a takeoff of columnist jimmy fiddler who did some columns at the time i'm not an expert on newspaper columnists of the time but i looked into the name and yeah it appears to be a parody of jimmy fiddler so in this short, Daffy's clearly the focus and Porky is put to the sidelines, which is most of Clampett's Porky shorts around this time. But I do like the reference here that he makes where he's so excited for Daffy, you know, that him and Daffy were kids together. And that's, I guess so the hardcore fans might look at this and go, aha, that's what Tiny Toons references. But anyway, but I also like the dog's reaction to all of it. It's one of Mel Blanc's greatest deliveries. I can hardly b b believe it. Why, why we were kids together. <laughs> Pardon me. Amazing. So as mentioned in the original track, there's some repeated bits of animation. So first up, you have the whole intro 
which was reused from I Wish I Had Wings, which was in Harmonizing short, though Clamp had worked there as an animator anyway, so he probably just remembered it. I don't know, but that's where it comes from. As you can see, it's pretty darn close. You also have Clampett using from himself from Chicken Jitters, released the same year. So pretty much the same thing there. And also from Frank Tashin's Porky's Poultry Plan, where he just lifted up this particular bit of the vulture. There's no point in me putting a picture in picture for that. So yeah, that's where it comes from. I also thought it was an interesting choice having, you know, Mrs. Daffy Duck. I don't, she doesn't have a name in this one, sounding like Donald Duck. <laughs> Now, I absolutely love this bit here where Clamper just goes full on embracing the absolute ridiculousness of the characters just standing in midair like that. Of course, he gets crazier and crazier as he goes along until the end of his career at Warner's, but yeah, I just love when he does stuff like this. So, of course, Clamper being the film fan that he is, here's another reference for you. So, this vulture here that's flipping a coin that's based off of George Raft, who would be known for playing a lot of gangster roles, so he'd be flipping the coin and so on. So now here's a brief sample from the Bob Clappett Retrospective Part 1 video, which I know some of you don't have time to listen to all of it, it's over an hour long, but here is the brief sample discussing this specific cartoon. The next one up, Wise Quacks, which again, based on its name, you think, what's this one all about? I mean, of course, you know, it's going to involve a duck, right? <laughs> so, Dabby Duck is apparently married in this one, and I don't really remember much of it, and Porky's even also barely in it as well, which goes to show again who uh, Clamper was interested in. But Fox, what are your thoughts on Wise Quacks? Yeah, you gotta look out with these titles because uh, there's another Fish Feeling cartoon called Wise Quackers. There's another Bob Clampett cartoon called The Wise Quacking Duck. So it, the list goes on. Uh, but this one, Wise Quacks uh, from uh, 1939 is uh, a really, really uh, dark one uh, actually. So if you ever want to see Daffy Duck becoming a dad while being drunk and not giving a darn, uh, <laughs> this is the one to go to. I think he does save his, uh, his kid later on, but it's surprisingly dark and I just love the guts of this cartoon. Yes, that's, that's right. And now for my final thoughts on this one, look, sure, this might be considered a Porky short officially, but honestly, given how little Porky is in this one, for all intents and purposes, it's a Daffy short. Even though Clamper did a few Porky and Daffy team-ups, there's no real team-up here to be found, and, you know, that's fine. It's quite clear that Porky's only in this short because he was required to be. As such, you know, this one is actually a very funny short. I quite enjoyed it and I know if there are a few people out there who don't think too much of this short and that's okay and it's not really a highlight either it's just one funny short which if it happens to be on I'll watch it and I'll laugh and that's that so you know this one gets a seven and a half out of ten for me again it's funny it's not a standout but whatever I like this one but definitely let me know in the comments below if you've seen this one and if you enjoy it so That'll do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care. <laughs>